this video I'm gonna show you how to create any orthogonal array um, if you you can say Taguchi orthogonal array uh, however the method that I'm going to show you in this video that was originally developed in 1946 by these two person Plackett and Barman so I'm gonna show you this method if you are interested you can read this paper and understand how exactly uh, those um, how they develop this uh, nice uh, designs so for um, so these uh, design generator they are actually from this uh, paper so for to create any any orthogonal array uh, we can simply use this nice nifty design generator and I will upload this in the openeducator.com this file so you you can have it in your reference I cannot upload that paper which you can download uh, if you have access to that journal however I can upload my work so this one so if we want to create for example um, 2 to the power 7 uh, design so with 7 factor 2 level each uh, by the way all of these are for only two level each because this is screening experiment we only want to know whether a factor is um, anything to do with the response or not to know that simply low high level is enough so two level is more than enough for a screening so for that purpose you really don't need more than two levels so let's say we want to see seven factors um, experiment and two level each so if we just run eight experiment we should be fine uh, to create or see the effect of the uh, seven factor because if we run eight experiment we have se eight minus one seven degrees of freedom so we should be able to see seven effects so I'm gonna transpose copy it here and I will show you so you copy that and transpose it and leave it like that so these are my different factor a b c d e instead of that I have created one two three four five six seven it's easier when you have a long list of number uh, to kind of say column number four instead of factor number C so it's much easier that way so these are basically your a b c d e factor in the factorial design of experiment so we have copied so first copy this design generator and paste it in a transpose way and then it's very simple this first cell is this number for the second variable and then the second cell is this number and then just keep going like this and all of these are the low level of and then simply copy this all the way here and you're done Excel did something stupid here let me fix it so you can think of the kind of like rotating like this so you can see a line there zero 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 so basically each of these go one level down and then you start from uh, these again so let me show you how to create the 12 l12 2 to the power 11 so in this case 2 to the power 11 means we have 11 factor two level each so because two level each each factor will take one degrees of freedom so if we only um, run 12 experiment we should be able to see 11 effect because 12 minus 1 is 11 so we should be able to see the 11 effect uh, total 11 effect or uh, main 11 effect main main factor main effect of 11 factors so for that let's copy that design generator for 11 factor experiment copy transpose it here so I'm gonna uh, right click and transpose special paste transpose here similarly this cell is the last number this one and then this one is this so you can imagine this is rotating like this for all of this just keep rotating like this until it's done so you just copy all the way down this should be populated so then just simply expand that and then zero with Excel it this gets really really easy you can create this design in two seconds so like this so done 2 to the power 12 
11 l12 orthogonal array so this is the one now let's create the one of the extreme one l36 2 to the power 35 meaning that 35 variables two level is so we need about 36 uh, data points so i have already uh, created those now let's copy the design generator so for 36 runs or 35 variable this is the design generator oops i don't know what happened to my excel control c i'm gonna transpose paste here like that and then similarly this is the last number last level I don't know what I typed there. Oops. And this piece is this first one. Basically, you can think of this is rotating like this for each of the new factor. And then copy all the way down. And then we can populate these until the end of the um, up to 35. We don't need this one, so delete that. And then this should be all zeros. The last one will be all low level. So designing this experiment, finding this treatment combination is really easy. However, think on something for a minute. Look at this first treatment combination. So for my factor one, we are setting low level of factor one low level of factor two, high level of factor on, low level of factor on, low level of factor on, high level of factor C. Now, find an experimental unit with this specific treatment combination will be crazy. So I think this is just for the theoretical uh, showdown of how to create uh, orthogonal array. The maxima you probably be doing something. Even 11 variable is a lot. Um, however, in Taguzi design, you have control variables, you have sig well, signal is different, you got environmental variables, so if you have these four as the environmental conditions and this six or seven is for your internal uh, condition variable, so then you probably may be using this, uh, end up using this 2 to the power 11 screening experiments and you can only run just 12 experiments. However, finding an experimental unit with factor 1 low level, factor 1 high level, factor 2 low level, factor 3 high level, factor 4, 5, 6 low level, factor 7, 8, 9 high level, and then 10 low level, 11 high level. Finding an experimental unit with that particular combination will be really a big channel. Anyway, to summarize, I'm going to upload this Excel file in the openeducator.com so you'll be able to see all of these. To summarize, basically, if we want to create any number of factors in between this, this is the design generator we use. So you just simply copy them, transpose this first number is the last number of the design generator. And then the second one is this one and then you copy this all the way down like this and then you basically populate all the table using the same algorithm and the last row is the low level of all of these factors so this is how you create the orthogonal array now this was based on the original publication in 1946 by the um, packet Berman Taguchi is a little bit different, uh, however, as long as they are orthogonal array, we really don't care whether this number is different than the Taguchi. So as long as these are orthogonal, so sh distinctly different from each other, we should be able to see the effect of these uh, factors. So it's just fine either way. So Plaquette Berman, you can use that or Taguchi. In another video, I'll show you how to manually create Taguchi design. However, until then, you could use this or basically in any textbook, most textbook have these different designs in the appendix. Mini tab, you can yeah, use it. However, you should know how this thing comes. What the thing that any software run behind the scene, this is what is running uh, behind the scene in softwares.